it's me James once again I'm outside of the Lincoln financial field it is because the Philadelphia Eagles will be playing in Brazil this Friday this week and that marks the beginning of the 2024 football season and it's a very very exciting time in Philadelphia for the Philly sports I like to talk a little bit about the Philadelphia Phillies the Phillies are doing good this year and they will be in the playoff game we're gonna have another red October and the baseball season the regular season it's almost over it's about less than I don't even know 50 games left so Taiwan Walker I don't know what is going on with that dude the Phillies paid him well actually signed him for 72 million dollars two years ago and he's not playing good it gives me a bad bite like what happened with Carson Wentz but Carson Wentz is a little bit different he was playing amazing football at the beginning and he was the he was called the Houdini of the pack and then he got injured and it went downhill from there on so Carson Wentz did had some contribution to the Eagles 2017 Super Bowl win but Taiwan Walker for the Phillies they signed him for a 72 million dollars four-year contract and he has played for a few major league baseball team before he was signed by by the Philadelphia Phillies and it's kind of like Carson Wentz because he had numerous injuries before he came to Philadelphia so I don't know with you will figure you know the the uh, major league baseball team like Phillies they have scouts and they have expert to see how a player play and make predictions and whether they want to pay somebody a lot of money to play for the team or the person is not worth it it's not like you and me right we can guess which team's gonna win what players good that's why there's fantasy football we can we can guess all we want but we're not experts so the difference let me give you an example the Phillies it's a business and they're there getting the players for the team it's kind of comparable to like a car maker it is a business and they're there designing cars and make nice cars and the sports fans like us we're just consumers we pay for the tickets we go watch the game and it's no different than like if you buy a car right from uh, say uh, Chevy you have different choices you can buy a sports car you can buy a, a, a small economy car right you can buy whatever you want and all you do is drive it so we're the sports fans it's like you buy you bought a sports car all you do is drive it and the manufacturer the company right like the car maker in comparison to Phillies they're the, they're the ones that put the product together and they're trying to make the best product that the consumer will like so you bought a nice car it has uh, uh, the temperature controlling side and the salary is fast so you know power windows and everything so that's what you want it and the car makers make nice cars and then the consumer is satisfied when they bought a car and has everything that they wanted but the Phillies they're just like the car makers they're they're experts in what they do and you figure they have all those people right determine what player to hire 
And what happened? How would in the hell that they will pay seventy-two million dollars, right? Seventy-two million dollars for a four-year contract for Taiwan Walker, and the guy is playing really bad. So last week, last Wednesday, Taiwan Walker start、uh, as a pitcher in the game against the Astros, and the Phillies lost. Astro ten, Phillies zero, and that's really, really bad. And the fans has been calling for the removal of Taiwan Walker. And finally, after Thursday night's game, the Phillies、uh, took him out of the starting ro- rotation and threw him in the bullpen just for the time being. So they can probably, if they really need him. At the, the end of the game, and they can him, take him out of the bullpen, and they can get some use out of him. The guy is completely useless, and he's playing really, really bad baseball. And I think part of it have to do it's just like Carson Wentz. He had a lot of injuries, and his body's probably not that good anymore. And、uh, I don't even think he can play anymore. So I don't know why with the Phillies. You know they're supposed to be expert in baseball. It's a major league baseball team, and hired the guy and paid him, signed a contract with him for seventy-two million dollars. And now, if the Phillies get rid of him or trade him, and they still owe him thirty-nine million dollars, that's exactly what Carson Wentz did, right? He was a good player, but then he got injured. Couple times, and then he just can't really play on the same level like he used to. And then the Eagles made him the、uh, prior, you know, prior to his decline in performance. And the Philly, I mean, the Eagles signed a contract with him for like four hundred some million dollars, and they end up end up owe him money. Even though when Carson Wentz is not playing in Philadelphia anymore, he moved on to other teams, and the Eagles is still paying him, and that's exactly what happened with the Phillies, and they are going to be paying Taiwan Walker for another thirty-nine million dollars for the next two years, all for nothing. So, anyway, that's all I have to say about that. And things are going good because you know the weather's great in Philly. Right now it's、uh, late August and early September, so it's not really really hot anymore.、Uh, it feels good, and the, and the football season it's just about to start.、Uh, so all the events in the past week. First, on Monday, August twenty sixth. It was the Phillies Star Wars themed game, and you know the Phillies game tickets are expensive now. I might not go to all the games, but every year I do go to the、uh, Star Wars themed game, and I get my tickets earlier in the season. So I'm locked in for the regular price for the ticket. You know, you pay like about I, I don't know twenty five thirty dollars, and you get the the You also get not only you get the ticket, you also get the Star Star Wars、uh, game. Get you know the giveaways. You get a coupon that comes with the ticket, so you can redeem for the bobblehead that's、uh, relate to the Phillies Star Wars theme. And、uh, I, you know, the reason I go to the Star Wars theme game is because、uh, it is really cool. You know, it's unlike. I think a couple years ago when the movie、uh, Top Gun Maverick came out, and then they had the Top Gun theme baseball game, but those are only for that year when there's a movie or there's something going on. But Star Wars, everybody likes Star Wars, so every year they do the Star Wars theme baseball game, and、uh, there are a lot. Unlike any other baseball game, they have a lot of Star Wars characters dressed up in the Star Wars 
theme costume inside of the uh, the ballpark. So you got to go there early and walk around in the concourse and you'll see different Star Wars characters and then you can stop them or get in line and take to take a picture with them. And also they had the backdrop set up. It says Philly's Star Wars theme night and you can take a picture in front of it. Not only that, they also have photographers there doing the green screen photo. So you take a picture with the Star Wars theme banner in the background. And also they set up, the photographer sets up those, uh, those uh, photo booth. It's like a, a selfie photo station. So you just press the button on the, uh, the iPad and you can take a picture of yourself. If you're dressed up in the Star Wars costume, and then you can get a really nice picture out of it. But they have props there, you know, for people to use, like the lightsaber and uh, the Yoda face mask or the Stormtrooper mask. And you can use those props to take a picture too. And throughout the game, they have a lot of Star Wars related uh, activities. You know, they would put uh, they would put the Star Wars characters entertaining kids or the fans on the Jumbotron. So you can see all that and, and they play the Star Wars music, themes music in the background. It's it's all really, really cool and I love it. You know, so I I go to the Star Wars theme again every year and uh, I get I get a kick out of it. So let me show you the things I got from the Phillies game. Look, this is uh, the new Philly city, city Edition back that they use. Look how cool it is. This is the giveaway I'm talking about. It comes with the Star Wars theme night ticket. It doesn't cost any extra, but you have to get the ticket early because they only have a few thousand. There's like 3,000, but I, I think they have a little more than that. Ranger Soros, Bobblehead. I really like this one because not only he's dressed up in the Star Wars uh, costume and, and there's uh, a mask you can put on him. It's a little different than the previous year Star Wars bobbleheads. Ranger Soros. And I took a couple of the Star Wars theme night pictures. at the photo station with the professional photographer and then they print it out for you just like this. It is really, really cool. And, and also uh, out in the concourse area, ESPN Bet was there. They were giving away free koozies. ESPN bat cooling towel. A little fanny pack. other hand lotion and I also got a Phillies 
ESPN Bat Phillies Beach Towel. Let's go, Phillies! It is all really cool stuff. Got a lot of things for free. Don't forget, every time you go to the ballpark at the gate, use your phone, scan the QR code for the designated driver ticket. And you need the, the ballpark app, which is the same app you used to get into the ballpark with your you know ticket on there. And you get the you can put the designated driver. You don't have to pay for it, it's free, but it's like you're buying it because you scan the QR code and you put the designated driver drink ticket onto your ballpark app and then you can go to any one of the uh, the concession stand to get a free drink. This is the, the new Philly City Dishing bottomless popcorn bucket. What happens is in the past, you buy a bucket, right, for like about $10, $11, and you can bring the bucket back and use it all season long to get free popcorn. But this year, they made a change. Now, you buy a bottomless popcorn bucket, and you'll have to uh, show them the same day receipt the same day as you bought the, the bucket to get the free refills. So the, the free refill is only good for the day that you purchased the popcorn bucket now. So they made a change. I used to bring the bucket back every year to get a free popcorn, but now you can't do that no more. So that's the Philly Star Wars theme night. It was awesome. That's all I can say. And then the next day on Tuesday, August 27, there was another one of those uh, Flyers Community Caravan event. And this one takes place in Ben Salem. And it was uh, in conjunction with like a Ben Salem uh, Township End of Summer Party or something like that. So it was the Flyers and the Ben Salem uh, municipality they were all there at the a, a park behind the Ben Salem municipal building it was a nice park they had trails and stages for probably summer concerts and stuff like that. it was a nice park uh, and uh, the police department and the fire department they had a uh, touch a truck event out there also so what happens is you can uh, you know go sit in a police car and you can press the buttons make the sirens go off and you can they have the fire truck all open up so it's the uh, the bomb squad the bomb squad they had uh, a, a vehicle and you can go inside and see the setup wonder what those uh, the, the police department or you know like the county police uh, those command center vehicle I always wonder was a liking site and this time it was uh, open for the public to see so I went inside the the police department command center vehicle and it was really neat you know they had uh, different stations in there they had uh, all the, the the TV monitors, so during a crisis, they can use the drone. They did fly the drone there, and then you can see what's going on, and you can see the, all the uh, the cameras they have set up outside, and uh, and then 
in the back of the the command center vehicle, they, there's different stations for the uh, the police officers to sit there and to uh, like the dis dispatchers to make uh, uh, communications with other law enforcement. So there's all different stations in there full of uh, TV screens and computers. Uh, it was really nice. And the uh, Air Force was also out there. Uh, trying to recruit young people into joining the joining the Air Force, and they were handing out a lot of free stuff also. And the township was out there, and there are lots, lots of vendors. The township had uh, free hot dogs and free drinks, drinks in the cooler, and then a lot of free items they're giving away. So are like the the healthcare system and the banks. They were also all there. Uh, you know, set up a table to handle, handle free stuff. So there was so much stuff out there. It, it was crazy. And uh, DJ Hollywood was out there DJing. And then they had uh, the Ice Girls and, and I guess one Ice Boy. That's the Philadelphia Flyer, Flyers cheerleaders. They were also out there taking pictures with the fans. And once again, uh, Flyers mascot, Gritty was out there, and uh, he was a lot of fun, you know. Not only to take a picture or make video with him, he was uh, spraying, he was spraying the the water from the fire hose at DJ Hollywood. Gritty is really, really crazy. He's known for being crazy. So, oh, and also the. Of course, the alumni players, including Ber Bernie Parent, they were all out there signing autographs for free. So it was just a great event, and, and the police department also had a, a, a dog, K9 police dog, K9 obedience show out there. So that was a good event. You know, they have free food, free giveaways, and flyers. You get this free stuff from the flyers when you enter and you get to meet some of the alumni players this time they don't have any current players I thought they will have some current players there but they didn't it would be better if the current some of the current players was also out there signing autographs but you get to see grit, gritty acting crazy so let me show you the stuff I got anyways you gotta see this I I come out here with a whole box of free stuff because there are so many events and there's so much free stuff this week I have to go through this quick because there's too much stuff Air Force water bottle really neat. A foam Air Force Jack. U.S. Air Force liner. This cool uh, Air Force sunglasses. And a little Air Force Foam Air Force personnel, medical personnel, and stuff like that. This is the fire department's bag. Van Salen Fire Department hat. Coloring book, mugs, frisbee, Toyota, headband, bunch of notebooks, 
no pets, Flyers Cup, Toyota sunglasses, the same one they give away at the ballpark and the stadium, and uh, a rubber can bottle or a can opener. This is one of those uh, selfie light. Ben Salem football flyers beach cooler. Ready, iPod, keychain. More balls. Back chips. Uh, chip back clip. And the whistle. Highlighter, fly swap, ladder opener, and uh, and little notepad with the pen. It's just too much stuff, you know. It, it, bug bite pan there's just too much stuff in here and I'm just giving you an example of, you know it's a big bag a big bag of things so I'm just give, giving you an example of what I got it's too much stuff and we have to move on so on Wednesday the next day there were so many events there's like almost an event every day the next day on Wednesday August 28th it was the official Countdown to kickoff party for the Philadelphia Eagles and NFL football at the Maggie's Waterfront Cafe presented by Melolite. And this, it was an anticipated event. People know about it, and uh, I saw on the Facebook afterwards, you know, parents were saying the kids were so excited and they couldn't sleep in the night and they were waiting for to go to this event to meet the Eagles players and to you know see the Eagles cheerleaders. So this was a great, great, great party. First was the they were featuring current and former uh, Eagles players. So the players were were, uh, were there. It was the current player, Cam Jurgens and uh, Eagles tight end Dallas Goddard. And the alumni player, it was Darwin Walker and Todd Hermans. And Swoop was there. And uh, 2024 Eagles cheerleaders. And they also have the Eagles own DJ, DJ Diamond Cuts. And there was a country music band. It's called the Shot, Shot of Southern. Life was playing the music upstairs later on in the night and also they this year they featured a Q&A session with the current Eagle player which was uh, Cam Jurgens and uh, Dallas Goddard okay so that's what they said they were going to do and that's everything that took place we got there early, got a table, and waited. And then slowly, everything was set up. So at the door, the Melali had a, a Slingo game. And that's where you get your prizes. You drop the, the wooden chip in the Slingo board, and wherever it landed, you can get the different kinds of Melali hats, 
and you can get uh, you can win to meet the players, the current Eagles players, and also you can win a koozie. So I play the game, and I get uh, luckily I got to meet the player, but I didn't get a hat or the koozie or anything else, and that's the only thing they were giving away is by playing the Slingo game. So I didn't get a hat, I didn't get a koozie, I got to meet the player, they give you a wristband. You have to win that. And then while uh, DJ Diamond Cuts is playing the music, and they had the Eagles cheerleaders, uh, and uh, the Eagles drum line was out there. They brought a lot of people out there, you know, a few people from the drum line, about a dozen of them. They were playing music, you know, playing the drum in different areas. And eventually, the cheerleaders moved upstairs to where the country band was going to be playing later. And they were in a, a, a previously set up backdrop in front of it to take pictures with the fans. And then Swoop showed up. He was everywhere. He was outside, inside, um, playing around with the drum line. And then he was behind the bars, fooling around with the bartender. And Swoop was crazy, you know that. Uh, and also take picture with the fans. And now, the Q&A session. They start a few minutes late, but they got uh, Eagles player Kim Jurgen and Dallas Goddard on the stage. And also Eagles insider Dave Spadaro. Uh, he was the one that was, that was hosting the question and answer. And most of the time, they let the, uh, the, the fans that were there asking the questions. So a lot of things was asked, and I was sitting in the front row, and I watched the whole thing, and I have to tell you, it is very informative for the upcoming season uh, about how the Eagles are. So watch this short video, the highlights. Weird question, uh, take it the right way, please. Eagles fans, I know when we got Saquon, everybody talks about Saquon's legs and how big his thighs are. Like, did you guys, are they that are they really big? unusually big? Yes, that's your question. Are they, are, they really, are they really that big? I mean, Saquon is a specimen. I mean, he's got, he's got good sized legs. But, uh, you know, anytime he gets in the huddle with the O line that we have, especially Jordan Mailata, he can make anybody look small. Uh, but with the rest of the running backs, you know, his legs are pretty beefy. And, uh, you know, they're going to be moving the pile and uh, getting us extra yards, so I'm all for it. Now, Cam is making the move from right guard to center. That's his natural position. Yeah, I, I mean, I try to look at myself as a football player, and they want me to play guard, I'm going to play guard, I'm going to play center, uh, you know, I'm going to do it. So I feel comfortable going back there at center, and, you know, I just try to be a good athlete and go out there and be a football player and, and make plays. And so I'm excited to go back there to center and communicate, and, you know, it's just fun. You know, when you get everybody together, moving the same page, same direction, uh, yeah, that's where things happen. Is Nick Sirianni aggressive? I mean, like he's the definition of aggressive, right? Upbeat guy. Yeah, definitely, guy. definitely upbeat yeah. and aggressive. But the cool thing about him is he's always like that, you know. And that's something that I appreciate out of the coach. You know, when you go to him, he's gonna be the same guy every single time, every meeting. He doesn't change. And I, I hate it when it's the other side. You know, when somebody's aggressive and then they're not, and then they're coaching and then they're not. It's like just be the same person every day. And What's different about Kellen's offense that the fans will recognize starting Friday? I'd say the biggest difference uh, would be a lot of pre-snap motion. Uh, we didn't do a whole lot of that last year, and uh, this year it seems like pretty much every play we have, uh, someone's zipping across the field or motioning just so, um, one, the quarterback can get a tell of if they're bumping, if they're running, if they're in man, if they're in zone. But uh, it definitely also helps out me as a tight end, the whole line. 
uh, knowing where the defenders are going to go after the play starts. Okay. Obviously, I love playing with Jalen. Uh, you know, he's my quarterback. He can do so many special things. Uh, when the ball snapped, you know, whether he's running, whether he's passing, whether, uh, you know, he's giving the ball to the running back and bursting, uh, he's a player that uh, kind of gives the defense a disadvantage. It seems like with him on the field, we have one extra player always because uh, he can do so many different things. Uh, yeah, Jack, you know, he's up there. I, I got my guy Jack Stoll back. Uh, yeah. Another mullet in town. <laughs> Another mullet, baby. He's got a rock and he's looking good. So those, those would be my two, probably. Uh, Jalen and Jack Stoll. Okay. You, you, you got some big shoes to play. So, going along with Jason Kelsey, how do you think that helped you in your future endeavors as a Philadelphia Eagle? Yeah, tremendously. I think Kelsey's such a good example on how he carries himself on the field and off the field and just how he handles media and how he handles the attention because, you know, everybody in this state, they all know who Jason Kelsey is. I mean, you can probably tell who Jason Kelsey is before the, who the governor is. I don't even know. It's, a, it's a big spot to fill, uh, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm going to go out there and just be myself. You know, I'm not trying to fill anybody's shoes. I'm trying to fill my own and create my own thing. Uh, you know, as always, Dallas sucks. Uh, what are you going to do differently this year than you did last year? Make sure last year doesn't happen again. Yes, sir. We're going to win. Yeah, uh, the biggest difference, uh, you know, we got a new offensive coordinator, um, different tools that he's given us to um, handle some things the defense is going to throw. Uh, you know, we never really play against the same defense. You watch a team the week before and how the defense played, and it seems like uh, every time we play someone, they have different wrinkles, uh, different things to try to stop us. But um, with Kellen being here, I think we've made a big jump in our uh, blitz zero, which we struggled with at the end of the year. Do you guys know a lot about the Packers right now? So for fans who don't really know the cadence of the game, we're, we're still you know, nine days away from the game. Have you started watching Green Bay Packers from last year or from preseason? Yeah, we just I just got the list of uh, games to watch. Obviously, uh, the preseason games are good. Uh, they got their defensive coordinator from Boston College. Boston, Boston College. Uh, so they said maybe if we want, we can go watch some Boston College games, clips. Uh, but yeah, th we're starting now to uh, nine days away, getting into it, started game planning a little bit this morning earlier, and uh, we'll continue to do that through the next week. Cool. This year, we've been hearing reports that it has been a lot more physical. How have you been adjusted as players to the physicality of the training camp, and what steps have you guys taken to prepare yourself for the season? Yeah, that's a great question. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, it, it's all based on, there's a lot of different factors that go into it. Um, last year we had a lot of older veterans that uh, they thought they should take care of. Um, obviously, you know, we started off the season still pretty well. I don't think we played our best football, but we were still getting wins. And I think having a physical um, training camp, as long as you can keep your players healthy, which we did a good job of that this year, um, it just gets you more ready for the season, ready for um, different things that can come at you. And, I think it's been really good for both sides of the ball. You know, the defense has been giving us a lot of different looks with the new defensive coordinator, uh, throwing a lot of stuff at us that we get to see more because we're practicing more, practicing harder, and we just have more opportunities to go over those looks. Um, but I think the most important part of uh, being a successful team throughout the year is being healthy. And I think they've done a good job this year of balancing the hard work and making sure we're recovered so we can go out there and do our job at a high level. So what question are we all dying to ask Cam Jurgens and Dallas Goddard? First and goal on the one yard line. No more touchdowns. Who is getting the football? Yeah. Are the Eagles going to run the brotherly shove? Or are they going to hand it off to Saquon Barkley, guys? We Last question. Like, I like to put it in Saquon's gut and then pull it and dump it off to me. That's <laughs> Hey, let's just get the first down. Yeah. Okay, get the touchdown. It doesn't matter who. Are you ready for the choice boys? Yeah. Yes. All right. All right. What is the key? To, what is the key to playing your standpoint? I mean, I don't want to give any secrets away, but we got five really good old linemen, and 
Bunch of dogs. Hey, Jalen's hey, watched this on a dogs. Dogs. Yeah. You gave yours away, right? Uh, Dallas has a Dallas. pair of oh. Oh. purple. She's gonna give them, and then Cam gave to yellow to whoever that was. That allows you to go inside and get autographs from Cam and from Dallas. You must have a yellow or purple wrist tag. So we're gonna send them inside now. Let's do so. We thank Cam and we thank Dallas and we thank you for your great questions. On the count of three, one last time tonight, please. As we get ready for the opener next Friday night in Sao Paulo, Brazil, or come down to the watch party at Lincoln Financial Field. E A T L A S Eagles on the count of three. One, two, three. E see a lot of things were said about Sequon Barkley, about he's really big, got big legs and big everything, and also uh, some things were mentioned about other players such as Jalen Hurts. You know, we'll find out, right, this Friday, the Eagles game in Brazil against the Packers. We'll find out if Jalen Hurts is the real deal. So the question and answer session was good, and after that, people that won the bracelet gets to go into a, a back dining room to meet and greet with the players and uh, to take a picture with them. And earlier on, during the event, they also had uh, Darwin Walker, I don't think I ever met him before because he hasn't been around for a while. He's a, a former Eagles player. And Ty Herman, I met him lots of times. They were also there, but you don't need a ticket or anything to meet them. You can just walk up to their table and you can get uh, an autograph picture and then you can uh, take a picture with them. So let me show you. So I got a couple pictures signed by Todd Herman in different color marker and also Darwin Walker. So it was really, really cool. Even though they don't have a lot of stuff you know, the Mellow Light did not have, have a lot of stuff to give away to everybody, but, you know, everybody gets to win something, either to meet the players or a hat, a koozie, so it was good. It was good. And, you know, as always, without those beer companies sponsoring uh, those uh, this kind of free parties, and there will be no events. So thanks to Mellow Light. And then on Thursday, which is the next day, like I say, there's the event, almost the event every day. On August 29th, I went to Life Casino's uh, sports and social restaurant. This is the last one meet and greet on Thursday night post game, post game, uh, Philly's post game party. This time, the alumni player is Mickey Morandini. So you get in line, you get to meet uh, the Phillies form, former player, and the Life Casino will give you one of this uh, foam baseball, or you can bring your own stuff. You know, the guy in front of me bought like a notebook and some baseball for him to sign. But I, ha I met him many times and I had a lot of stuff signed by him. So I didn't need anything else to be autographed by him. And uh, so I just took the, the free foam baseball from Life Casino and had him sign that. And also they had uh, the autograph card you can get for free it's signed by Mickey Morandini. So that was a cool event, you know, but that's uh, the last one that they had.
and then Saturday, skip a day, skip Friday. Saturday, August 31st, I went to Deptford, Deptford Mall, D-E-P-T-F-O-R-D, E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles, Deptford Mall, for the family football pass, uh, fest. That's an annual event that they do, the football fest. This year, they really went big. In the previous year, they would have a small section of the uh, more parking lot fenced off or taped off and then they will have some vendors there maybe a DJ and some games for the kids this year it was huge when I got there I saw all the the, the balloons the strings of Eagles green balloons that are flying high and and they were all over the place and then they taped off a huge area of the parking lot. They had the stage there, they had the DJ there, they had the band playing on the stage, and they must have like about 30 vendors there. Some of them are selling things, other, th other vendors like Dick Sporting Goods, you know, they're there, and uh, Xfinity, they're there to hand out free stuff to promote their store. And also, uh, they had uh, food trucks there. They had food trucks there where you can buy food. And then they had those huge moon bouncing slide and uh, blown up houses for the kids to slide down and to play. And then they even had a petting zoo there. It was really amazing. And not only all that football stuff was going on there. They had uh, Eagles player, fan favorite, Brandon Graham, and alumni player, Jeremiah Trotta. They were there signing autographs. You have to pay for it. So a lot of people was lined up, you know, they pay for it and they buy the uh, photos or they bring their own and, and the mini helmets and they were there waiting for Brandon Graham and Jeremiah Trotter to show up and when they finally showed up the crowd went wild everybody was showing the e doing the Eagles chant and uh, Brandon Graham and them they took some pictures with I guess the mall and the township people first and then they start to take care of uh, the customers signing autographs. So, you know, they had the players there, and that was great. Then inside the mall, they also had a sport card show. They do that often. Uh, all the malls do around here. Once every while, especially in the summertime, they will have the sports card and memorabilia show so inside the mall there was a big sports mem memorabilia show and there were many vendors there they set up and uh, you know they were selling things and it was very impressive you know it was a great event I was there it was a little bit hot outside I was there for about in total about two and a half hours just to walk around and and just checking things out and see what's going on then I went inside the mall to cool off, but inside it was not much cooler than outside because it was just a hot day, you know. For the Thepper Mall Football Fan Fest, I got all this free stuff. I put in a big bag that TD Bank gave to me. It is loaded with goods, with goodies. Tons of other bags. Ooh. Dropping every stuff everywhere, including the the Dick Sporting Goods drawstring bag. TD Bank Rally Town. bottles and cup
different kind of footballs. You see this one says, that for more. Xfinity, this is a, a bag. It opens up to a bag. And the pouch, fanny pack. Comcast and uh, Olympics. Bunch of this, uh, the Crocs shoes buttons from Dick Sporting Goods. All different kind buttons for the Crocs. Emergency kit. Flashlight, keychain, flashlight, keychain. Team USA keychain for the Olympics. Ruler. Chip back clip and gun lock. Usually, before you know, they a lot at the live events they have gun lock. Usually, I don't take them, but now I found use for them because it's just a lock and I can, it has a key attached to it, and I can use it to lock up like my bike or my scooter while I'm out. So other than use for even if you don't own a gun they're still used for for the gun lock more bags more other small items cell phone holder TD Bank keychain Fulton Bank chip back clip notepads and a pen from the Deptford Township Police Department tons of stuff at all these events Go to the event, make sure you look out for the free stuff and get as much as you can because it is free. So anyways, that's all the events that took place in the past week. And that was a lot of events. But I can tell you the upcoming, well this week, the upcoming week, there isn't a whole lot of events because the Eagles game, the Eagles first home game is play, played in Brazil and is played this Friday so there's gonna be big watch parties and I'm going to one of them the game watch party so there isn't a whole lot of event during the week maybe there'll be some pop-up pep rallies I'm hoping for but I don't know so now I'm gonna to get to the upcoming event part of my show as in the past few shows I mentioned about the uh, uh, this is the last one of the Flyers Community Caravan. This one will take place on Saturday, September 14th at 12.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. And this one is going to take place at the University of Delaware, Fred Rust Ice Arena. So this one is actually going to be inside of uh, a, a ice hockey rink. I think I have never been there before. You can look up on the... Uh, just search on Google for Flyers Community Caravan and you'll see all the details for this event. 
you know, as usual, the flyers hand out free stuff, and then they have uh, sometimes current, most of the time, alumni players there signing autographs. So if you're a Flyers fan, it's, it's a perfect opportunity, and it's the last one for you to meet the, uh, the Philadelphia Flyers before the hockey season starts. Friday, September 6th, 6 p.m. is the Philadelphia Eagles' official season kickoff game watch party at the Lincoln Financial Field behind me. Uh, it's like going to a game. You gotta buy the tickets. You gotta pay for parking. But there's no game taking place here. You just watch the game that's in Brazil on TV here. So to me, it's not worth it because if I'm gonna pay $30, $35 for the ticket and then $15 for parking and the bridge tow from Jersey to Philadelphia just went up from $5 to $6. So if you're gonna pay all that money and then get food here, you know, you probably end up spending like $100 at least and you don't get much out of it. And then, you know, you take your $100 to a bar, a sports bar or somewhere else, You'll, you'll get a lot more out of it and then it's free parking, you know, you go to a, a restaurant, a bar, or just watch the game at home. You can buy a lot of food with hundred dollars, right? Philadelphia SEPTA bus. You get to ride SEPTA for free on game day to the uh, up and down the Broad Street. SEPTA trains for free to the NRG station right over there. So to me, this game watch party at the stadium, it's not worth it because you're not going to see any players there playing the game. You watch it on TV either way. The only, the only uh, good thing is uh, ha they have a halftime drone show. So if you like that kind of stuff, then go. And uh, uh, Friday... Okay, so, right, that's on Fridays and Saturday, September 28th, is the 97.5, the Fanatic radio station. They have a, a sports fan fest. It's an annual event. The Fanatic fan fest is taking place right down the street from here at the Xfinity Life. That's a big event. And it's a free event, but you need a ticket. So you can get your ticket on the 97.5, the Fanatic website under the uh, events. And you'll find FanFest. And just click on it, and you can get the tickets during their ticket rate time. Right? They have ticket rates. So once the time for the ticket rate, you can get your free ticket. It's a 21 over event. And I go every year, they do have a lot, lots of vendors there and current alumni players. They're doing the crashing and answer session or on the stage, talk about the, uh, the Phillies and the Eagles, you know. So this is a must-go event and it's a lots, lots of fun. It takes place both inside the Xfinity Life and out back in the parking lot. So there are all the come up. Uh, the upcoming events so I hope to see you there at one of these events and for now I have to do an Eagles chant because the Eagles game is played the first home game in Brazil this Friday night and I hope the Eagles win I hope the Eagles win big and I hope Jalen Hurts is the real deal. So let me do an Eagles chant for you. E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles! Let's go! Birds!